Welcome back to Morning Live. I killed her because she used my money but did not love me in return. This is a statement recorded by Naftali Kinudia at the Eldorate East Directorate of Criminal Investigation Offices. Now, according to the testimony, the young man could not take it anymore. Following the numerous letdowns by the 25-year-old medical student, Ivy Wangeshi, and thus was left with no choice but to brutally murder her. Yes, and uh, with me in studio, I'm joined by Morara Kebasu, a lawyer and a former, uh, that is a medical student, uh, not medical student actually, a law student at Kenyatta University and a student leader at uh, KU. And of course, Charlotte Kigezo, who is a psychologist now taking us through all this. I'll start with Charlotte because now, um, when you talk about the audacity just to have the confidence and the drive to lift an axe and kill someone. Uh, it takes kind of a, I don't know I don't know it's it's kind of mind boggling also yes. because it's 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 really um, as much as you take talking about crimes of passion yes. it's not really uh, normal so I'm very sure there must be a gap somewhere of course there's always a gap somewhere because when you talk about uh, certain things in psychology you want to categorize them in the boxes of normal and abnormal and normal is as far as we can describe as a society and abnormal is as far as also we can describe as society but then again they, they when it comes you say this crimes of passion and anything driven by passion means it's driven by very intense emotion and most of the times, it, I would have loved to have this discussion after Naftali has been asked, do you regret this or not? The incidences, he will say things like, I do not regret this because I feel the kind of pain I have experienced from her, which is emotional pain, was had to, had to go somewhere, had to be inflicted somewhere. And that's the reason to why when we have cases of suicide or we have cases of depression, you find that someone is either cutting themselves or hurting the people around them to release a, an, a phys to release an inside pain yeah, yeah. that they don't know how to deal with. And it's the society we live with today that we do not know how to deal with what we are going through. And we don't even know what we are going through. Because on normal occasions, he would have told you, I was mad, I was angry. But then when asked, have you done this before? He would say, no, I have never killed anyone. I have never thought about killing anyone. It was probably an impulse thing, or he had mentally prepared for it. Because by the time an axe mm -hmm. can kill someone, the time you use an axe to kill someone, the amount of energy you have used, because our, it's not like our flesh and blood is so yeah. easy to yeah. dig into. Yeah. Yeah. It, and an axe is not that sharp. Yeah. That sometimes blunt for us who grew up in the villages, we mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. by the time an axe helps you cut down that tree, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. is a journey. That's so. True. It's, yes, there is a gap in our society. There's, there's so many things we can talk about mm -hmm. uh, uh, coming from the point of Naftali alone, mm -hmm. but there's also the factor of he led, she led him on. There was, because you can't randomly think someone loves you, even though there's the story of he was a stalker. They've known each other since they were children. Okay, what did Ivy tell him? I'm not trying to justify what Naftali did, mm -hmm. but what did Ivy say? What mm -hmm. did Ivy, what ideas did Ivy give him? Yeah. What yeah. made him think he had the, the power to be yeah. loved by her? Okay. What made him think he owned her? Because mm -hmm. by the time you're killing something or someone, mm -hmm. it means you own it, right? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have, it means you've taken the power in your own hands and mm -hmm. said, this is my property. I okay. own this, I do whatever I want with All this. Right. Yes. Uh, but Amurara, uh, it's, it's as a university, a former university um, student leader, um, the, the, this, this is very unfortunate, a sixth year student, just uh, being killed like that. Now, men, men, man, man, she did go happy, man. She did go happy. Like, Charlotte has said, she must have led him on in some very aspects of life. But you see, there's an option. There's so many options. And killing is not an option. Okay. Yeah. I think um, first, as you've put it correctly, it's unfortunate. And uh, the best condolences to the family that has lost a promising woman who would have made an impact in the nation yeah. and in the region. But also, you've asked me a good question. Men, what is our problem? Uh, the first thing about our problem is that, unlike women, men talk less about their problems. Sure. Um, men are less revealing mm -hmm. about what it is that they are undergoing. Mm -hmm. 
and we have more men having depression than women yeah. because women quarrel, they discuss with each other, they have many avenues of uh, letting out what is it, it is that is inside of them. But men have been raised up to be told that they should be strong, to be told that they should not exhibit weakness. So even when somebody is legitimately undergoing depression or um, a mental disorder or is feeling stretched in life, men would not easily reveal that. They would suppress those emotions. So when most crimes of passion uh, like this one, they are as a, as a result of suppressed, suppressed emotions. Mm -hmm. Somebody has undergone um, numerous counts of letdowns, as he explained. And what did he do about it okay. when it happened? Did he let it out? Did he talk to someone? Did he ha have a sit down with her and say, you know, we are having this, but I'm feeling uh, undervalued uh, in this relationship and I would like us to do this and this and this. So there's that problem about men being uh, closing up to themselves sure. and staying in that shell and not wanting to reveal what it is that is inside of them. Uh, the second thing is that uh, the boy child in the country of today um, is facing what I could call radical extinction. Yeah, yeah. because so many people have forgotten about the men. They feel that men do not need help, mm -hmm. and men actually do need help. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there are ladies, and I'm not saying Ivy Wangeshi mm -hmm. in particular, because we do not know her story mm -hmm. since she got to pass away before we know her story, but there are ladies who entertain many suitors and many lovers and enjoy certain privileges in the form of gifts attention. from them mm -hmm. and attention in a manner as to suggest that they are in a relationship mm -hmm. even though uh, it may not be actually mm -hmm. a relationship but the fact that there is exchange mm -hmm. there's some bit of exchange then there is a relationship okay. so this person based on the investment they've put either monetary investment mm -hmm. emotional investment mm -hmm that they've time. put in this lady mm -hmm. and the time yeah. um, they feel they deserve something in return. Yeah. So when they do not get the attention, because if you had his statement to the DCI of Eldoret East, he said, I felt despised. Secondly, she did not pick my calls, meaning he felt ignored. So that's an ego issue. Yeah. This is a, a person who feels he should be treated Entitled. in a certain way, Entitled. but was not treated in yeah. that way. Yeah. But then let me fault him and say, um, regardless of how much investment you put in, you should not feel entitled. Yeah. Yeah. Even in a business, you put in your capital, yeah. you pray for profit. Sure. But if you put your expectations too high, you will have disappointment. Yeah. So you should invest and expect a result, mm -hmm. but not be feel entitled mm -hmm. to a result. Okay. So much that if you do not get the result that you want, mm -hmm. then you go on a rampage. Okay. Okay. Now, Charlotte, yes. let's talk about false hopes. Yes. He touched on it. Yes. Whereby there's an, uh, uh, you spend so much time, monetary um, mm -hmm. situation, mm -hmm. uh, emotional. But now from the other party, let's talk about false hopes and how yes. people can actually take um, losses because now not everyone wins. That's true. Yeah. So how can especially men? Mm -hmm. Some of us know actually we don't have the the idea of taking losses. Yes. It's very catastrophic when actually even 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 interviews, mm -hmm. regret letters, and people even follow up to their child and yes. knock on their doors. What happened? I think I performed well in this interview. Mm -hmm. You see, the child now has to explain so many things actually happen. Yes. Now, taking losses. Yes. How? are we supposed to take losses as men? Because as much as there's ego involved, taking a loss, Charlotte, how are we supposed to do this? He, he, he brought up a very interesting point as far as touching the basis of mm -hmm. taking losses yeah. is concerned. Mm -hmm. And communication is sure. what he brought up. Where even though you have invested, what are you expecting? Have you communicated your expectations? Because sure. most of us are roaming this earth with, I 
I have, I text someone good morning. So meaning they are my friends. But the person does not carry you at the same level. And one of the ways to deal with losses is communicating the expectations you have. Okay. Because what hurts us is not the world. What hurts us the most are our expectations. Your expectations, you build so high expectations and get, because you set that expectation a little bit too high, yeah. you and it does, you don't achieve it, what happens is you start feeling worthless of yourself. But no, did you communicate to this mm -hmm. other person mm -hmm. that these are my expectations? I am not doing this because I'm a good person. I am doing this because at the end of the day, okay. I expect this. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the ways that mm -hmm. m if we're going to trickle it down just to the men mm -hmm. and asking how can men take the I, I lost let me take the L and just go and chill with it. Communication helps a long way. You see, like where you say, you even an interview, you lose an interview, and you feel you need to go to the HR. And find out. Why. And find out. If the HR, of which I have a whole problem with the whole interview system, but if they are to tell you, we're sorry we're not employing you because this and this yeah. is what you're lacking. Yeah. What you're going to do is, as a normal human being, you sit back and you're like, okay, I should work on this. Mm -hmm. But if you're a very egoistic human being, very self-centered human being, mm -hmm. of course, the first thing you would think is, I've always been the best. Yeah, How could yeah, you tell me yeah, something yeah, like that? Yeah, sure. So one of the things is for us to remember mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, yes, you're told to be a better version of yourself. Sure. But a better version of yourself improves, Im sorry, improves mm -hmm. with society. Yeah, yeah, it improves yeah. with how much society tells you, okay, here, you cannot do that well. Mm -hmm. As Charlotte and Ivana Kigazo, mm -hmm. I might be a psychologist, yeah. but I know I'm not a marriage counselor. Yeah. That's, yeah, I have accepted, I'm, accepted I have accepted that. So as long as we come to a point where we accept mm -hmm. there are things wrong with us mm -hmm. and we want to deal with them, mm -hmm. which is the society, the, when he says the boy child is, is, is systematically becoming extinct, mm -hmm. it's because we are ignoring the aspects of what are your weaknesses and how can we help you know mm -hmm. that your weaknesses are normal. Okay. We, have, we have brought up the boy child to make them think mm -hmm. you should not have weaknesses. You should not break down. Yeah. You should not cry at a funeral. Mm -hmm. You should be the one who is holding Strong mom. Man. Yeah. Mom yeah. and dad, yeah. uh, if we've lost you, probably your sister, yeah. you yeah. are the one when your sister yeah. is going through something or your yeah. brother, your younger brother is going through something, yeah. you should stand up for the family. Yeah. But they forget. This is a human being. Yeah. At the end of the day, this man has watched you butter his mother. So he is going to pick that up. Yeah. Have you dealt with that? Have you dealt with his insecurities in general? Because growing up, you might have been the kind of parents who keep saying, the girls are doing better than you. So you end up having a boy who is very insecure. Absolutely. So Absolutely. as a society, yeah. are we addressing that weaknesses are a normal part of a human being, okay. especially a man? All right. Yes. We're not taking a short break. When you come back, I will talk more about now the solutions. Because as much as the boy child is on the spot on this, trust me, it's a two-way traffic. Yes, as much is. as you talk about the boys, there's some these uh, characters who kind of lead you on to some uh, sort of a dish and by the time you realize you're all alone. So uh, talking about that in a few, but also I'll remind you in 2001 in New Zealand, someone shot his boss because he was fired. Now, that was very unfortunate. He shot him several times on the road because he fired him because now he deserved, like he felt like he deserved to have that job for the long term. So we're coming back after a short break only solution-oriented situation right here on Morning Life. Right, welcome back to Morning Live and uh, the discussion right even when you took a break it was very candid and uh, the decision for you to choose a right partner because now as much as we are crying foul left right center from both sides the male and the female the integral part is for you to make the right decision who are you getting hitched to who are you getting married to some people are threatened they're still sticking there some people go to an extent of even gender-based violence men we've been on the spot for quite some time and women still stick but again morara we talk about uh, let's talk about now upbringing you know as men uh, charlotte said we are sometimes referred to the custodians of everything like you have to be uh, depicted as strong people in a society but look at us we are reached a point and uh, we are breaking 
we actually breaking apart so the bringing so um it is upbringing and parenting is a very important uh, as a very important role to play in what becomes of a person and how they deal with life situations now most of these things you're seeing like the death of Ivy Wangeshi can be and most of them are a result of broken marriages or marriages that suffered strife uh, because if the parents used to fight in front of the children then what the teacher does the student can do better it means then the children grow up knowing that it is okay to fight yeah, yeah. and uh, if let's say this is a product of a broken marriage you would find that the gentleman was raised by a single mother and did not have a father figure in his life and therefore did not learn certain um, aspects of just being a gentleman mm -hmm. uh, because one of the key things we learn from our fathers or our, uh, our father figures is you know how to be a man mm -hmm. how, how to let things go mm -hmm. how to assume how to say oh, okay oh, she's making noise but that's fine mm -hmm. so upbringing has a big role to play because when parents don't orient their children Mm -hmm. to deal with the challenges that they will find in their okay. relationships mm -hmm. and in their marriages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are actually denying them the ability to live a normal life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when these children get to an adult age, when they are supposed to be now start dating and mm -hmm. choosing their life partners, mm -hmm. they do not have the teaching, they do not have the orientation, they do not have the self-esteem to stand dating another person. Sure probably who has even higher intelligence than them. Mm -hmm. For example, you'd find that men will be intimidated by a woman who has more money than them sure. or who has more education than them. Mm -hmm. Like this man, in this particular case, I'm tempted to think, yes. though I have no valid evidence to mm -hmm. conclude so, but I'm tempted to think that he must have felt intimidated also by the lady because mm -hmm. she was a medical student, a yeah. person headed yeah. to be a doctor. Yeah. He was only running a business in Thika. Mm -hmm. So he might have felt that she is complex also. Yes, yeah. she that, mm -hmm. that she she has a higher level of education, okay, okay. higher level of intelligence oh, yeah. and for that reason she is using him mm -hmm. or treating him badly because she feels she's more intelligent than him. Mm -hmm. Uh secondly, the lady also, I may be tempted to think that she might have been treating this guy this way because she knew she's headed nowhere with this guy. She's headed for a great career and therefore most likely her dreams are to be with a person of equal level of education or higher. Mm -hmm. But education is important in the society. Yeah. By all means we should encourage people to gain literacy and the highest level of literacy because when people are educated they are measured in their actions. Okay. They are disciplined and discipline is power under control that yes, I can kill, but I have it under control. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can divorce, but I have it under control. Having things under control. So, go to the second question. Mm -hmm. Choosing the good life partner. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the relationships of these days, they've taken a different angle due to the introduction of social media. People are not investing in person-to-person -person relationships. Mm -hmm. They are rather investing in purchasing bundles to have an online conversation. And forever asking for Wi-Fi passwords whenever you just <laughs> what's your password? So people are in love online. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've never met, but they have a strong yeah. love relationship mm -hmm. online. So first, what people look on social media mm -hmm is not what they are in real life yes, and really. people need to know this like like, like the other day we had uh, some dirty breakup uh, trading on twitter yes, so someone yeah. even instagram even instagram yeah. like uh, you've been posting your partner's picture for the longest time yeah. then when it, be it becomes dirty you get depressed <laughs> now yeah. now no, no, in fact controlling your your private content yes. yeah. you sure these are people who are living a fantasy mm -hmm. They post pictures and people know them from pictures. Yeah. So they've built their brand and their life around their social media life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So
so essentially their life is in social media okay. so okay. they do not have control over their relationship okay. anymore okay. they are being controlled by that which is on social media okay. that is why you see even most crimes of passion these days mm -hmm. They're being streamed live on Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, recently, somebody did yeah. something live on yeah. Facebook, yeah. killed yeah. a girlfriend. Yeah. So, social media has a has a high influence mm -hmm. on how people are behaving, mm -hmm. and people do not know how to separate their life okay. from social media mm -hmm. because social media is a tool for interaction. Absolutely. It is not absolutely. where you should live your life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Charlotte, yeah. self control. Yes. Uh, when you talk about I deserve this, I deserve that. The aspect of self-control in our society has to be achieved. Yes. Now, as much as he talked about class, a medical student, for example, maybe a businessman in Thika or something like that, um, the class and also just trying to compete in the society. You know, society is, our society is very competitive, especially That's in Kenya. Yeah. We are egocentric with what we do. I'm a journalist. I'm a CEO. I'm a lawyer. I'm a psychologist. All those careers. People are trying to kind of compete. Oh, which car do you drive, man? <laughs> yeah. I drive a BMW. Oh, I have a bicycle, I have a motorcycle. You see, such things, huh? it's kind of now taking a toll on people's minds. Yes. Now, when you talk about societal competition, this situation, maybe she felt, as you said, no evidence, of course, but maybe she felt like this guy, not my class. That this guy felt like this kind of some inferiority complex that comes with it. So, yes. self control, Charlotte. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, on the topic of self control, I think we, we go back to the idea of upbringing. Mm -hmm. how, how have you brought up to deal with losses? But then at the same time, do you know yourself enough? Yeah. Uh, self control can only come if you know your limits. Mm -hmm. Most of us like saying, I don't get angry. Sure. I rarely get angry. And then your friends tell you, no, we've seen you when you drink. We see who you are when you yeah, drink. You yeah. break everything, you beat everyone. So what do you mean you're such a peaceful person? So there always comes back with, do you know yourself? How well do you know yourself? What do you know about yourself? And there are very many ways you can find out about what you know about yourself. Most of us don't evaluate our daily, -to -day, our daily mm -hmm. pattern behavior. Yeah, yeah. We do not, we ignore the, okay, I woke up in the morning, I was really happy, but then at 10, I got mad. What made me mad? Most of us don't like to reevaluate ourselves. We feel, I'm going through life as normal, I should continue doing that, yeah, moving yeah. through life. You mm -hmm. do not sit back and give yourself a self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. That's why most companies, before they employ you, mm -hmm. they give, they tell you to fill in a, a questionnaire, yeah. which is aimed at self evaluation mm -hmm. how do you react but most of us don't answer them with honesty mm -hmm. we want to you want to please you just want to fit in a certain caliber because yeah. you've been told people lawyers are to be like this yeah. psychologists are to be like this journalists are to be like this so you want to fit into that criteria mm -hmm. and that's why most of us lose it mm -hmm. and i feel it starts with be honest with yourself yeah. as a person mm -hmm. i know as yes i would lie mm -hmm. if i said i can give legal advice yeah. i'm lying to someone yeah. if i yeah. say that yeah. i have i i love to study anything legal but i cannot give legal advice mm -hmm. and me taking that step and saying i know i can't do this is the se first step of self-evaluation mm -hmm. mm -hmm. most of us it's it's as simple in a relationship you know you cannot give your girlfriend the kind of money she wants mm -hmm. but you don't want to communicate yeah. so what happens you start stealing the money is not there, you get into depression, yeah. you're hiding from your family, you're hiding from your girlfriend mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. oh, I'm in text and she wants money for mm -hmm. her hair. Mm -hmm. You're not communicating, I'm sorry, I do not understand if this relationship was meant to be based on material or are we sincerely and passionately together mm -hmm. because we want to head somewhere. We are not communicating and it always falls back to, are yeah. you communicating your truth? Mm -hmm. Are you communicating what you're feeling? Yeah. As myself, I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot date you because I feel you're not at the same level of education with me. I feel we'll be having issues communicating. It might hurt the person's feeling. We are, we love walking on glass yeah, and yeah, saying, yeah. I do not want to hurt anyone's feelings. But then, is it better you hurt someone's feelings now or continue leading someone on, frustrate them, and you get killed in the process? Or you get 
you get into a marriage that you're not happy with or you get into a long term anything that you know you're not going to sustain mm -hmm. we have become a community where we do not feel i need to communicate my mm -hmm. truth mm -hmm. i would rather keep my truth to myself because i mean social media you want to fit into the couple goals yeah, hashtag yeah, couple, hashtag couple goals, goals hashtag filter my filter wife material oh, hashtag mm -hmm. boy child there's so much we are hashtagging yeah, to true, we have true. become a generation of hashtags and what are we teaching our children as parents because i like i remember we had this conversation yeah. you and i are not out of the realm of our parents even sure, though we have sure. become adults mm -hmm. our parents still have the chance Custodians, to correct us absolutely. they still have the chance to fix us mm -hmm. it's i mean family is the only thing that is constantly spoken about in the bible yeah, it's yeah. the only foundation that picks you breaks you and makes you mm -hmm. so if my mother still feels we are says in one to no i am to be called and told and we should not be screaming at our children. You have conversation. Yeah, when yeah. I say communicate, I say it's an act of speaking and listening. Okay. And you listen actively more than you would want to speak. Absolutely. So Absolutely. when you communicate your truth, yeah. have you heard the other person's truth? Okay. Have you given the other person a chance to tell you, okay, I do not have self-control because I feel entitled. What makes you feel entitled? You told me I am your boyfriend. Okay. And as a, okay. where I come from, the society I come from, mm. a boyfriend does this, this, mm. this, this, this. Okay. And then the other person says, okay, I do okay. not agree mm -hmm. with your kind of upbringing. Absolutely. So as long as we communicate, mm -hmm. we are able to deal with okay. all these underlying Perfect. issues. Now, Morara, do you think our spiritual leaders are missing um, the plot here? Because now there is the, the spiritual nourishment also uh, by now. You see, once you're told, do not kill. It's, 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 a, it's among one of the biggest Ten Commandments, actually, in the Bible. But so you have the decision to kill also. Because when you say, someone tells you, hey, in Menda Church Sunday, yeah, there must be some angle of kind of purity also. Maybe this person might be depicting. Now, our spiritual leaders, you see, we flock our churches every Sunday, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, parking, goodness. Guys are in the church. But you see, these are people who are guiders. Or I say, wana kondo. Wana kondo ni how Christians or maybe Muslims, whatever denomination you are, whatever uh, church you go to. But still, um, is there a gap from our spiritual leaders just to nourish these people that indeed we have seen out here? There is a big gap. Because the gospel that we have now, as you very well know, is a gospel of prosperity. Ten ways to get blessed. get blessed. Five ways to yeah. meet Next the month, love of your life. Mm -hmm. Next month. In fact, you, you retreat this or like this post. The next week you have a you have prosperity. A, yeah. Yeah, physical. Two ways yeah. to align yourself for yeah. the blessings oh, and the washings amen. of the Lord. Bad. It's bad. <laughs> I've not been blasphemous here, but still it's unfortunate. Yeah. Preachers. Mm -hmm. Let's not even start with... Uh, the issue of relationships. Let's begin with the, just the issue of accepting that God can say no. Mm. Mm. Preachers prepare people for when God can bless you. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they do not prepare people mm -hmm. for when God will put you through the fire yeah. Yeah. to prepare sure. you for the blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because somebody like Moses went mm -hmm. through the wilderness okay. for a long time. He underwent a lot of stress okay. for him to be a leader. Yeah, sure. He puts you through the fire sure. for you to be diamond. Yes. And God can say no. If you read the book of, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's first or Second Corinthians, mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul, the great Apostle Paul mm -hmm. that we know, mm -hmm. says, though I be lifted beyond measure, the Lord allowed an agent of the evil to buffet me. Mm -hmm. For this thing I sought the Lord three eyes, mm -hmm. and he said no. Mm -hmm. God can actually say no. That's true. For for your own good, because he is the Alpha mm -hmm. and Omega, yes, the sure. beginning and the end. He that is, that was, and is to come, sure. all at the same time. Okay. So, preachers do not prepare their congregation mm -hmm. for disappointment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we are in, on earth. Yeah. And this earth, as we walk, it is not our home. Mm -hmm. We are only but passers by. This mm -hmm. earth belongs to the people of the earth, and they will rule it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, for as long as we are on this treacherous earth, we will face challenges. Okay. And we will be rejected. You will go for a job interview, you will be told no. no. You will have a girlfriend, she will disappoint you. Mm -hmm. You will have a wife, she will cheat on you. Mm -hmm. Many things will happen on this treacherous earth. And there are days when you will go on your knees and pray to God, 
and God will tell you no. That's I mean, true. in his own manifold I think, I think wisdom. There's a perception of God always says yes. He, yeah, but God does not always oh, say yes. yes. Okay. But that's what our pastors yeah. are telling us. The, I, I've ever gone to a church, any of the churches, no matter how small or big, yeah, yeah. and your, the pastor says, mm. be ready for the no. You're always being told, be yes. ready for the blessing. For the this is yes. your season of blessing. Anyway. This is your season uh, of harvest. You know, I want to tell you wherever you're seated that you're going to have blessings this month. Goodness. No, you might not Goodness. have blessings this month. Because of time. Yes. yes. Because of time. Yes. Uh, lady and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. And yes. uh, this conversation has been so candid. And uh, Bwana Murara and um, Charlotte, I really appreciate your presence today. Yes. And uh, from the church angle, please, preachers, even if you're hearing us right now, please just try and uh, lead the congregation on uh, or also disappointments because you can't be winning every time. You, you have losses also. And yes. of course, every journey must be difficult. For the men out here, let's accept any result. Rejection is part of life. Let's not take the law on our hands. And of course, let's value life because life is what we treasure actually so much. And let's please, let's not take someone's life in the name of love, in the name of maybe disappointment. Try and cool down. And of course, the way we've said, God will always give you something to cherish. We're not taking a short break, but when you come back, we want to talk about now businesses. As a young man, how can you grow your business? So all that's coming to you after a short break.